Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. Today we are doing a card of the day for the collective. I know this Mercury retrograde is driving people insane. I just did a mini meditation for you and this pre-meditation, I could feel the stress coming from all of you. A lot of communication problems, a lot of issues in relationships, computers not working properly, um, text messages not going through, a lot of DMs that are just being like, you know, miscommunication coming through or not coming through when they're supposed to come through. So listen, this is the weekend just to chill. Take a break, do nothing. I don't care if you spend all weekend in bed. I don't care if you spend it at the beach. I don't care if you spend it at the park. I don't care what you do, just chill. Try not to get too frustrated because I know how it can be. People just stress out and a lot of miscommunication all over the place. So this is the weekend just to veg out, chill, watch Netflix, go see a movie, but just chill to fuck out. That's what you need to do. All right, let's go ahead and get you a card of the day. See what's happening for the collective. This is the part of the collective. All right, we got Diana. Focused intention. So think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. I'm so glad this card came up. You see this part about expecting the best possible outcome? That's what you need right now because there's too much going on with everyone. And people are forgetting that the law of attraction is there. People are forgetting that they can manifest things. I mean, obviously, you know, things may not work out to the best or maybe the manifestations are taking a little longer or maybe things that were supposed to come through this week did not come through because of this Mercury retrograde. Just let it go for now because there's really nothing you can do. And if you can do something about it, go for it. But like I said, just remember there's a lot of delayed responses happening right now. So you got to keep in mind that you got to just keep positive. That's the main important thing. So just keep that focused intention on exactly what it is that you are trying to manifest, exactly what it is you're trying to get um, to come in for your highest being right now. All right, what else does the collective need to learn and understand for the highest being? Okay, this is beautiful. The tower. You know why I love the tower? It's a lot of release going on right now. And this is the perfect time to be doing that. Hold on a second. Card just dropped out. Right. I want one more card, please. So the reason why I like the tower, beautiful, is because this is a great time to release. And you know, the reason why I say this is a great time is because you've got the full moon coming up in the next few days, right? So this is the weekend to do it. Just let go, release Anything that just did not work for your highest intentions, release the stress, release the resentments, release the anger of all the stuff that just did not happen over the last couple of weeks. Matter of fact, probably more so this week because I felt like the energy was really heavy this week for a lot of you. So it was like that tower moment was just hitting y'all hard, 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 hard. All right, you got the Ace of Pentacles though, which means that you can really trust that things are gonna change. Like from next week, I see for some of you, things picking up, things moving a little faster. Um, I'm also seeing some of you still continuing to build those foundations for whether it's your relationships or even your um, careers, just moving ahead. But I see like the foundations are like small foundations. So it's like, you know, a little bit piece by piece by piece as you build your empire. Or, as, or even as you build your family unit, um, that's what's going to be happening is that you're still um, working things out with your partner and you're still working things out with your career. So this can go either way. But the Ace of Pentacles is a prosperity card. So that's a great way for you to continue to look at things in terms of prosperity, wealth, success coming for you in many different forms, but just continue to keep that in your um, in your mind, in the forefront of your mind, because that's what you're attracting, right? And then of course, you got the Nine of Wands. And what I love about the Nine of Wands is that so many people, um, so many people view the Nine of Wands in many different ways. For you right now, this Nine of Wands is coming up because some of you feel like your hands are tied, like, you know, you, you just can't 
move forward with what's happening. Some of you feel like you want to give up. And that's, that's the messages I'm getting is like some of you are so angry. I'm seeing people literally just slamming the books down, slamming the computer down, like getting pissed off at their phones because things are not um, going the way they want them to go. But this is really the card that's saying, do not give up. Like, just don't. Just keep going. Keep moving through the storms because you've got the storms happening here with the tower. But then that is just a small period right now of what's going on and that's going to end and you're going to have a lot of prosperity coming in with the ace of pentacles it's just really about you uh remembering that this is just a setback please do not give up on whatever it is that you're working on whether it is your relationship or whether it is your career maybe it's school a lot of it i see school people getting very upset maybe failing tests not getting the work done not understanding the things that have been coming up so that's what's going on with you right now is that you just got to keep it going just keep moving because you are a very bright individual and you know exactly what you want and you've got the strength to keep going so this is your final card all right so thanks very much for joining me don't forget i'm magical chronicles i hope these cards resonated with you today don't forget you want to like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next one bye